It's your old pal Rob. Uh, today we are going to be painting uh, the giant rat, the brood mother, uh, who is the first uh, villain that we're going to face. Um, we're going to show you start to finish. It only took me a couple hours of that and the children. I did it nice and simple so you at home uh, aren't sitting there going, oh my god, you know, this is going to be impossible. I want you to pick up a brush and I want you to paint. You got to remember, I, I, I've got a bad arm. Uh, since the operation, even though, geez, you know, um, but you know, my hand isn't steady, and I'm still able. I'm still able to to do a nice, simple paint job to get it to the table, and that's what this is all about: making sure that you can get this to the table. Um, we're doing that today, and then uh, the next video that you're going to see, uh, we're going to do the heroes, and then the live play because we'll have everything painted to go through the first chapters. Uh, I'm taking some images, uh, the image out of here. I'm no spoilers. I just want to show you. Uh, we are going to do our best. As you can see, it's kind of a purplish type of rat. Uh, we're going to try to uh, replicate that. Uh, hopefully, we can do a good enough job to show you that and uh without further ado why don't we get down to the table so keeping this in uh basically what we want to do is is keep all the secrets and everything like that everybody knows about the rats um i've i've actually uh done the girl here in a little bit of a plague uh undercoat uh flesh for the barbarian here and everybody else just in a mechanicus gray and I'm going to work out from there. So, the first thing I really kind of want to do is I'm thinking about just trying to get the bone on him. And then eh, I, th I think I want to save that for a little bit. I kind of want to see if I can, because in the picture, and I want to show you guys some of the artwork here, um, what we're going to go with him. So with the art from the, the top of the, the thing, um, he has kind of almost like this, it's almost like a purple, and I, I don't want to go purple over the gray so much. I don't know if that'll work, but I'm going to tinker around a little bit and try to get some balance and, and figure out what's going to work. But I think a wash is where I'm going to start with uh, on the big fella. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a little bit of uh, violet shade. And what I'm going to do is just kind of, and don't mind the washer and dryer in the background, um, I'm just kind of really, I, I cut it with a little bit of water over here. Um, I, I have just a little bit of water and I'm just cutting it a little bit so it's not as, as um, strong. And I'm just kind of lightly working it in there because I want that to be kind of the undercoat for this, really kind of shine out a little bit. And I'm just really just working it in there and I want to touch a purple because if you look he really has this purple look to him uh, underneath the gray so we're going to really work that in there and then I know how we're going to brighten this up a bit or or bring out the detail of this fantastic beautiful model and this is just a simple way to do it. You know, there's like 19 different ways that you can go about this. But I'm trying to think of how beginners would do it. And uh, this, for me, is what would work for you guys the best because it's easy to do and just keeping it nice and simple for you so far. I'm not painting any of these upper rats because I kind of want them to stand out a little bit. So uh, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with them. So now that I got that shade in there mixed in with the gray, I don't want it to overpower and have a purple rat. So these other rats, what I think I'm gonna do is I wanna leave them gray, but their tails, I think because they're babies, I think I'm gonna go with a Canadian flesh and, and kind of just really make them stand out a little bit, keep these gray, and maybe go with a black wash over, over these. Now also he has some scars in here that I'm going to fill in with uh, some uh, Karisberg Crimson. Uh, I'm going to put some shade in those uh, once this dries up a little bit, just to give it a little tinge on the outside, because I, I was actually thinking of using a corn red in there, but I think it would overpower. Uh, I want to use corn red in his mouth, and then uh, we're going to use a lot of Ushabi bone on the bone here. 
So let's start with, we're gonna work on the tails um, and uh, we're gonna try to get those in there really nice and then we'll come back, that, that should be dry enough where we can start working with the uh, Carisberg Crimson. You'll see what I have in mind here, how I'm going to build outwards here on this big fella. Um, as far as these rats here, I think I'm going to do the same type of thing. Uh, we'll go with the very light purple. So, um, or I, you know, because they're smaller, I, I, I really kind of like maybe just using a new oil on them, darkening them up, and then bringing them out a little bit with, tan, uh, with the... Uh, with the Canadian flesh tone tails, um, I want them to. I want the big fella to to stand out more than than these guys. I don't want them all to be the same. I want this creature to really stand out. Yeah, so I decided to go with the Canadian flesh and water it down a bit. And um, again, that's an old Canadian flesh, so I have it watered down with some. Um, Oh, some thinner so I'm just trying to get what I can out of this old paint and I really kind of I you know I look at the pictures and I see what they're going for but I kind of want to put my own spin on this so I'm doing all the rat tails kind of like rat tails so we're using a, a, a Acadian flesh and that really kind of sits out there for I'm not worried about bleeding over onto the um, the base because we're going to be painting the bases and uh, just to show you a nice layer um, Katie and uh, flesh tone it works really well in this situation I'm gonna do that also on the big fella all the little guys there uh, I want to really have those stand out and be a little different because I really want that to sell that whole point uh, and what I even might do is uh, on uh, she has like um, Oh, how can I say it? Uh, nipples there that, that I think I'll put the flesh tone as well there to just make that stand out a little bit. So, uh, you know, I'm going to put a little bit more of my own spin on it, but I want to keep things simple and get it to the table quickly because God knows I want to play this glorious game. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to finish these up. I'm going to finish these and then I'll show you how it looks when it's done. So again, I just want to keep you guys up and up to date here while I'm doing this because we're trying to make this a, a quick video that you could just get some ideas and and maybe do your own thing without breaking out you know airbrushes and all these other fancy techniques and stuff like that because a lot of you are just going to want to paint this and get it to the table and I understand that and uh, that's why I try to do a little bit of simpler thing plus let's face it my arm has not been great over the last year uh, since we had that surgery and uh, I'm trying to keep it simple myself until I feel that I'm back to where I need to be. You know, it's not the easiest thing. And uh, by just keeping it simple, and I think that's where it really stands out, is just keeping things nice and simple. Nothing overcomplicated. Uh, because, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, even the guys that are masters, they can't teach it because they only know one way, and that's the, the professional way. And I've always said that. You know, take a look at Goobertown Hobbies. There's a guy that can teach anybody. He could teach anybody probably to do anything because he's such a fantastic talent. And uh, But there are other people that are such beautiful painters, but they couldn't teach you how to tie, tie their own shoes, you know? And... Uh, and and that's unfortunate because, you know, you don't want this to be intimidating at all. And I'm just taking my time here. See how I'm just trying to take my time, get all those tails so they really stand out on the big old rat here. Now, Mr. Rat here has uh, some, or the broodmother as they call her, uh, has some really deep scars here. So I'm taking some crimson care, uh, what do they call this? I'll show you in a second. But I'm really laying it thick in there. And it's a shade, but I didn't want to go with a... Um, I, I just didn't feel that, that putting a, um, 
uh, a corn red or something would, would really work. I think it would take away. So I'm just using this shade, this very dark red shade to kind of just get what I kind of want to do because I don't want it to overtake the model, as you can see. And I'm just trying to get that in there. Now you can see I did some on the back here, the back area of some of these scars. And I really want that to kind of get in there real well. So I'm picking out these scars, like over here on the shoulder here, uh, and really letting that get in there. And you'll see how we'll, we'll make that work. But the base here has to be this dark red wash that will work just fine because it's not overpowering. And we're putting it straight on, boom. And that's what's going to work here. Uh, he's, she's got, uh, I keep on saying he, uh, she's got like one here on her knee, all right? And I really want that to stand out. And, and when we shade up here, because uh, we are going to shade upwards, I really don't want to make, I want to make sure that it's dark enough, but I, I want to make sure I don't get that either, you know, when I'm shading up because it's not going to look right. Uh, we're going to have to do that separately. So again, I'm trying to get all these little scars and, and things that she has on her and really get those to kind of sit. See, there's one right there. You want to catch them all, kind of like a Pokemon. So there we go and boom, right in there, in the gap there. Um, and I just want to make sure that we get that and it dries real well. That's going to be key right there is making sure that it dries real well. Now we're going to take an old favorite, Newell Oil, and what we're going to do is we are going to take our nice little rats here and we are going to darken these guys up. Yep. Yep, because I want them to stand out a little bit more. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about when, when we come to the end here, uh, how I want these rats to kind of sit up. Now these bases we're going to do separately. Um, and I'm just going to hit every one of these. You don't need a lot, but you just need enough. You want to be careful of that tail. If you get it, don't worry about it because we will be putting a wash on that tail for sure. And okay, you just want to get around the body. And these guys, you want these guys to just sell. You know what I mean? These are, these are the minions and we really, the, you know, this crew here, you want them to look good, but die good too. Because after all, you know, we don't want them around. If, if we did, they'd be the heroes of our story. Now, I'm, I'm gonna finish the rest of these, but I wanna show you what I did with the big fella here. Um, the big girl. <laughs> I took, and I took the wash and I just kinda worked in there. You wanna make sure that you cover every rat and you don't leave any spots. But look what, what that does. They kind of stand out a little bit now. I don't want to hit the tails. I want to be careful as I can, but don't worry about hitting the skin or everything like that. Our dry brushing over this is going to help us uh, in this situation, and it's, it's not something that you're going to worry about right now. But you can see now all of a sudden these kind of stand out a little bit. All right, and that's what I want. I don't want them to blend in like the rest, uh, you know, on, on, onto our friend here. I want them to stand out. So uh, I'm going to continue on here. Make sure I get every single spot because you miss one, it will stand out. Next, I want to take some Zandri dust. And as you can see, I just did the whole bone outline on the tail. And I also want to do these, these teeth here. All right, and very carefully, just get those teeth. And boy, he's got some choppers. He's a chopper. Oh, what was that movie? Oh, he's a jumper. That's right, it was Meatballs. Kid's, kid's frog was dead. He's a jumper. Uh, he just might be resting. <laughs> So we're going to get all these these teeth here, and we want to make sure that we get those, because that's really going to make him 
stand out is if we could do the teeth correctly like we're doing here we want to make sure we get everything and already I put some pink horror on the inside of his mouth so you want to use that all right and there you go so you want to make sure that you get all the bone the fingernails uh, these these toenails all right we want to make sure that we get those and uh, that would be it for you shabby bone. Uh, not you shabby bone, actually Zandri Dust. So while I'm waiting for, because um, I had taken some Agrath Earthshade and I had worked it onto some of the bone spots, uh, the teeth and everything like that. And while I'm waiting for that and there's some bones here that I'm waiting for that to dry, uh, I figured I'd start basing the little guys before I, I highlight them. So all I do is just put a little Elmer's glue there and then just get some of this on here using the back of the old brush that I have and I got a ton of old brushes that I save and then I just kind of flick that off a little bit, push it down with my thing and then insto base my little rats. All right. So I'll do all those and by that time it'll dry and maybe I'll do that base and then we'll start building out on the big fella here. And I'll show you how we're going to build out on these as well. So we'll be back after I get all these based. Now this here is the most important part of this whole thing. And that is to kind of bring this out. Now I took some uh, administrative gray and I watered it down pretty well. And uh, now I'm just taking a bunch of it off my brush and I just I want to go easy on this and I'm pulling this off a little bit because I got a little towel here that I'm pulling the paint off and I just everything's got to be nice and easy I don't want to take too much of the purple away, but also all I'm doing is just tickling it nice and easy you see how I'm doing that and it's just kind of working over some of the things that we want to I'm going over also the Yushabi bone or not the Yushabi bone excuse me the uh, I'm going over a little bit of that as well um, the Zandri dust and uh, I kind of want that to kind of just come out a little bit all right so adjust night everything just nice and easy nothing too hard and just kind of work it over and it gives that gray feel with that kind of blood curdling <laughs> um, uh, purple of the monster. And I just want to go nice and easy over the face, over the top of the head. And you'll see where that's going to work. Now, I'm not, not only going to do that, but when I get a real lot of this off, um, I'm going to work it onto the other guys that are on his back. So again, I'm just trying to take it as easy as possible, not overdo it. I want to see even if I go over these guys here, it's just a touch. It's, as, it's just a little bit of a feather touch, just enough to bring just a hair detail out of them. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And this is just doing table quality, you know, not going crazy and bringing it so you guys can get it to the table nice and easy and being careful not to go over that, those red spots because we're going to do something with those going over the face because we're going to paint his eyes very soon uh, just kind of want to tickle the stomach a little bit so we can bring out the incredible detail on these beautiful beautiful models and they are beautiful folks these are beautiful beautiful and models. just going over this enough where you know you can you can get that good feel where that gray kind of just stands out a little bit and doesn't overtake it but just brings it to life enough and that's all we want to do so I'm gonna finish dry brushing this up and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with some of the uh, the guys on the bottom here and then we're going to get this guy where we need to get him and uh, we'll come back alright so there we have it um, you can see the nut, how, how we start to bring out the gray a bit. I'll be putting these pictures up on, um, on Instagram and Twitter if you guys are interested. And 
Uh, I'm going to be sending a copy of this to our good friend uh, Jamie uh, Jolly, who uh, asked me to, of course. Um, the thing I want to do here now is I want to take some pink horror, and all I want to do is just get enough of it on there um, because this is where I want to. I, I've got a very small brush here, okay, and I want to take it off. Uh, and of course, you can't see me doing this, but all I want to do is just end these cuts. I just want to very lightly kind of just kind of bring those out a hair, okay. And this is where you know, even though we went over with the gray and everything, you know, this is where these cuts really start to come to life. A bit so I'm going to take a little bit more and do that and you can see where it's starting to pop there a little bit and um, again uh, you don't need a lot you just need to go very lightly like I just like we were dry brushing and this is just easy you know this isn't a professional job you know I'm sure people can paint a lot better than I could there's no doubt about that especially since you know I've hurt my arm and painting has been tough now but you can see that wound looks a little bit better there it's more alive now I'm gonna finish that up and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you our final step and then we are going to be done with this magnificent model and all the, the little friends here uh, uh, and uh, we'll, you know we'll start our next video where we'll be doing all our heroes and then we'll be ready to play the final thing is I'm taking some Yuri uh, yellow and all I'm going to do is just dot the eyes. I think dead yellow eyes are just exactly what we need for this particular model. And boom, there you go. Um, I put a little bit of that pink horror in his ears and you can see where I brought everything out here. I'll take some pictures. Uh, matter of fact, uh, before we leave, I'll take the camera off and we'll take one final look at everybody on the table. So uh, let's head up top. We'll take a look at this on the table as well as I'll get us on out of here. All right, one quick final look at the big fella. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you. And I hope it's something that, that you can learn and just uh, get, a quick, get this to the table quick. That's all that matters. So there you have it. The rat and uh, 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 the brood mother herself and, and her children. Um, and uh, a really great, great model to uh, paint. I had a great time doing it. It only took me a couple hours. So I, I hope this is a nice, safe, easy way for you to do this. And uh, it helps. So let's head on top and get on out of here. Well, you know, there you have it. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, a lot of fun to do. I, I mean, I had a great time doing it. A um, couple hours tops along with the, the children here. And um, it, it was a lot of fun. This is a beautiful, exquisite game and deserves your attention. Uh, I show you a nice, quick, easy way. Uh, it's not a over pretentious professional job. It's just tabletop quality and that's what uh, you know some of you want to do don't be afraid pick up a brush you can do this as you saw nice and easy just taking your time and bing bang boom and you are done and off and running all right next time we have a video in a few days we will be doing uh, I'm gonna paint up five warriors um, and I'm going to decide which ones we're going to use for our campaign. Uh, I figure five in case I want to interchange something out. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll be back painting Oat Swarm, the greatest game ever made. That's for sure. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.